right, well, I got something today. And uh, Eric is not gonna be too excited about it. Guess what it is? No, it's not another dog. Although he might get excited about that. Are you a pork chop? Are you a pork chop? Pig, pig, pig. Welcome back to the WT Farm Girl channel. We have got some more shipping container project ideas that we're going to be working on today. I'm still not giving away exactly what's going to happen with the shipping container that we have over there, but stay tuned because we're going to pick away little by little and see if you guys can guess it. Some of you guys have gotten really close. Alright, you guys blew the likes away the other day when he said if you want me to work on this horse trailer I need 1500 likes you guys nailed it you actually blew it out of the water so I am gonna start working on this too obviously we had a little bit of a snafu with unexpected deaths in the family so some of the projects are being furloughed just a little bit but it will come so Eric also got busy finishing the shipping container so let me show you yeah it looks pretty good doesn't it So we got all the sides done except for the roof. Take your guesses as to why the roof did not get painted. Put it down below. You guys can read each other's answers and see who is getting the closest. You guys can play spots with each other. Whatever you want to do. All right, well, I got something today. And uh, Eric is not going to be too excited about it. Guess what it is? No, it's not another dog. Although he might get excited about that. Are you a pork chop? Are you a pork chop? Pig, pig, pig. Okay. So, I didn't think this through that thoroughly. You know, with the whole rash thing going on, my brain is so scattered. Oh gosh, that's a cobweb. Yeah. Uh. I might need to do a little cleaning in here, I think. Ugh. Ew, I walked through some. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Definitely didn't think this through too well. I'm thinking something here. I'm thinking. I think he found out. Oh boy. Oh no, he's on my secret. There's not a hundred up in there, is there? Maybe. I see a hundred written on top of the box. How many do you think I have in there? Twenty. <laughs> I just need a hundred written on top of the box. Like, yeah. <laughs> Those the corner shines? Yeah. I almost thought they were ducks at first. Yeah, that's that's what they look like. So order them? I uh, I put my name on the waiting list. They had three hundred coming in this week. For the whole week shipment. I don't ever see them come in a box like that. Also, they're coming in now. They're mass producing them at the moment. Really? Yeah. Um, so yeah. It says 100 CR on top. Probably because uh, that's how much it can hold. Really? Yeah. So there's. You got, you got between 20 and 30. More? Get out of here. Are you serious? Yeah. You didn't get a hundred. No. Fifty? Yeah, I got fifty. I'm 
many did we do last time? A hundred. We did? Yeah. We got two rounds of them. Now. Yeah. Huh. Sell it. What about turkeys? Um. Were you going to try to free range these at all? Yeah. I can use that netting over there to free range them. Before going in it. I'll make some for them. I mean, it's going to be a couple weeks before they're even up to that point anyway. We let them go too long last time, didn't we? Yeah. They're 12 weeks, I think. Well, 10. 10 to 12. You don't want to just keep them in the barn? I'd rather free range them. Let them get a little bit of uh, nutrients from the ground and stuff. Yeah, those last ones are pretty tasty. Yeah, they're pretty tasty. So, we had, we, we bought a couple years ago, we bought 100 chickens. We sold 50, we kept 50. And uh, it was the first time we did meat chickens and they were so fantastic and juicy. And we had some the other night because I had a couple left in the freezer. And we were like, oh man, these are some tasty birds. Yeah. Yeah. So. Very tender. So they actually had just gotten 300 in and they had 175 reserved. So that would leave. Just because there's a meat shortage. Well, I mean, even before the meat shortage, I think people with this whole pandemic are really getting into doing their own chickens. Yeah. Oh, well, you they guys ever had Cornish hens? If they see food coming and they're like vultures, dude. The food we put out is gone in five minutes. They just wow, devoured it. Yeah. So. So, hopefully by being outside and eating some grass and stuff, it'll cut back on the feed bill and um, round out their flavor profile a little bit more too. Should do pretty good. So I need to get water and I need to get food. Fortunately, I still have a food dish, but the water dish, gonna need to work on that. Hmm. Hey, Sassy, what are you doing? Ah, there it is.
50 pounds on Jenny Craig. And you can too. <laughs> I have smaller knees. <laughs> Come here. What's wrong with these? Because I have some that don't fit me. They're too tight and they would fit you better. <laughs> They're brand new. I haven't even worn them yet. I almost grabbed those, but these are already in your dirty clothes, so I figured it'd probably be good to put on. You want my belt? <laughs> I don't think that would help me. <laughs> I'll just make some suspenders. <laughs> this make me feel super fat. Rounding well. Rounding. Blah. Blah, blah, blah. Welding round two. <laughs> Rounding well two? Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys are wondering why I have the uh, giant baggy pants on. Well, it's because under these giant baggy pants, I actually have black leggings on because jeans are rubbing on my rash and it hurts. But I can't weld in leggings. So Eric's solution was to put his jeans over top. There you go. Settings are on C 2.5. What we did, we measured the thickness of the metal. And then there's a little chart in here that will get you kind of close. Get in the hang of flux core. All right, now I gotta do the inside. Do you go all the way around it? No, I just do top and bottom. Well, I thought on this you went all the way around. No. You can. I could. Give you more practice. Yeah. Not bad. It's definitely harder on this side. It's just a weird angle for me. Yeah. Probably some right hand. It's my right hand's like can't get the angle just right. You want to flip it or are you gonna weld upside down? I weld upside down. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. It sounds good too. Like It feels nice. I can see the puddle. And that's the biggest difference. Well, the metal's all really clean too. Oh. Like it well whenever you get the metal really clean, it welds a lot nicer cuz you're not burning through like paint yeah. and crap. Probably true. Boy, that's got some good penetration. Yeah. under there. It gets so hot it starts melting the concrete. Actually that one looks pretty good. Good? Yeah. So thanks for watching guys, uh, if you are not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It's definitely shaping up to be an interesting summer so far and uh, you definitely don't want to miss the shipping container project that we're doing. We're still trying to work out all the details on it, but I think we're pretty good. And we also have some other surprises coming up, it's just more surprises than I am used to doing <laughs> in the summer. So. Um, be sure to go back and watch some of the other videos and uh, tell your friends. Have them stop on by and say hi. And uh, hit that thumbs up. Take care guys. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bye. Come on Brandy. Come on. You can do it. Good girl. Good girl. 
All right, guys, so I'd like you to meet the world's fattest German Shepherd, or the world's fattest dog. This is Brandy, and she's a three-year-old Romanian German Shepherd. 